Instant grab. Hi, welcome back to A's Little Shed Shop. Today, I need to work out how to bond copper, which I have, I think it's 0.2 or 0.3 thick of a mill, to plywood because that's the wood that I need to apply it to. I have at my fingertips my most commonly used glue, Gorilla. This is wood glue, but it doesn't need to be a 100% oh, you can't get this off bond. It just it's a decorative look it's going to be on the outside it's not going to be you know, it's not going to have any force on it so i um, hope to god this works i also have gorilla instant grab adhesive oh i have no idea whether this is going to work i bought this on a whim i can't remember what the hell i bought it for but i didn't end up using it so might as well give it a go on this i have no idea why i bought that instant grab Says it works on floorboards, plasterboard, moulding, tiles, chipboard, decking, laminates, and more. Wood, would you imagine? I would imagine it work on wood if it works on ruddy plasterboard. So there's that. That's two gorillas. And I also have CAUK Ultra Thin. Really, really thin. Really, really nice. I use that quite a lot. There's not a lot left. Eh, just under half a bottle. I need to get some more. Just recently from yandles love you yandles i placed an order i got some cauk activator spray and some cauk thick really thick not the extra thick just thick i thought i don't need the extra thick let's put going extra thick nah. what i should have done he's got another ultra thin but hey ho so i'm thinking this won't be too bad it can be spread on the metal and it's stuck to the wood which is what i'm thinking with this rather than going straight to the wood whereas the gorilla and the gorilla wood glue straight to the wood rather than to the metal and i'm hoping that will work so i'm going to cut this into strips with scissors because this stuff's pretty tough and thin nice and easy how many glues have i got oh i have enough couple of glues i have tight bond and tight bond too so i'll get them out and give them a go as well so how many is that one two three four five six let's go six hopefully one of them will work Ow. so sharp i do have epoxy five minute epoxy or two day epoxy 24 hour epoxy but i don't think there's any point because i would need a lot for the amount of coverage yeah so i'm not going to go with epoxy way too much to use although i do also have a resin i think that would work but i think i'd have to use too much and of course i'd have to make it up and i'll probably make up too much let's try these sand one side of this Clear that, sandpaper, and I'm going to key this to take off the film that's on it. White spirit, clean them off. Mind your finger. Okay, so I am going to put what I think is probably what I would use and then clamp. So let's start with the easy ones. CAUK thick. I'm going to pop that onto the metal i don't think it will take a lot spread it because it's thick shoot that was almost my fingers no that wouldn't have been good would it nope activate a spray and press and clamp that's right on this ca uk thick then the next one we'll do is ca uk ultra thin i don't think this one will need spreading purely because i'll be hard to contain i think Oh shoot, oh shit, introduce that to that, shit it got stuck to me, ah, damn it, no, ah, contamination, ah, oh that's not good, that's it, it's done, my fingers are shiny and now protected, gloves, yeah, gloves, yeah, she's right, gloves, don't need gloves no more, nothing else, is you know super fast super stick i think that ca uk ultra thin is out of the question because that's way too dangerous it's on this finger it's it's stuck my nail to my finger so no back to the experiment type bond one this will take a lot longer i know it will to dry 
I don't have a lot of this. Type one, two. Gorilla. Instant grab. Funny feeling this will do the best, but I don't know why. I mean, I've never used it. Oh, that is weird. Okay. And clamp. It's still very hot. It's 31 degrees in the shed shop. So I'm going to let this set up overnight. Give it a good 12 to 24 hours to set up and hopefully find out which one works because I need to get on with this as quickly as possible. I do have some other options. I just don't want to go down that route using uh, epoxy. <laughs> I'd need too much, I think. So hopefully one of these works. So I'll come back tomorrow and see how this goes. Okay, it was meant to be 24 hours, maybe 48 max, that I came out and checked this. But it has been an unbelievably busy week. I mean, so unbelievably busy that I've not even been able to get out here. So this was all to do with my wedding anniversary, which was in fact, yesterday we went out and had a wonderful meal at Miller and Carter Steakhouse, which is si magnifique. Oh my God, I'll show you. This was our dinner. It was incredible. Yes, I went to a steakhouse and yes, I had a burger. Idiot. This is our copper wedding anniversary. That's why I want to know if I could get metal or copper as it is to stick to wood. So let's see how we got on. Let's unclip these. I have no idea. I'm hoping that one of the simpler ones in here is gonna work. And it doesn't need to be a permanent, ridiculously hard thing to get off. Just needs to be a bond to keep it on there. And that's it. So what was our first one? C-A-U-K thick. Hmm, what do you reckon? This one, paired with this one. Well, that was shit. C-A-U-K ultra thin. Oh, okay. So on a direct pull, that's not moving. Oh, well, that's not bad. That's not bad. That wasn't a bad bond. That scares the crap out of me because that was unbelievably dangerous and I changed my mind just from trying it. Uh, next up we have type bond one. Uh, oh, really? Crumbs. Okay, there was oh, no movement. Yeah, uh, it peels. Didn't do too bad a job though. Next up we have type bond two. <laughs> does not pull off oh shoot that oh <gasps> it took the wood it took the wood in one place yes i know in one place which means that was probably just a failure in that part of the wood but it took the wood wow guess what that is not enough to do what i need it to do all right next up gorilla i'm kind of hoping this is gonna work because i've got a shitload of it and type bond one didn't so that does not move that way and oh so yes it come off no it did not bond to the wood but it did take quite a bit of force to take that off brilliant last <laughs> is this one i have no idea why i bought it now that did have a bit of squish out it's kind of it's kind of rubbery it's quite strange initial does not budge oh now let's see oh well oh that's so sharp that's strange okay so it doesn't say this bonds to metal does it no it doesn't say it bonds to wood but i mean you know it's a gorilla glue so you'd bloody hope it would um it's still on the copper it's still on the wood i think if i was to use that i would have to brush that really really thin or you know spread it really really thin and it would need so much weight applied perfectly across every level every part of it i don't think that makes it viable didn't do too bad a job you can peel that glue off oh my god and the wood's absolutely fine underneath it how strange is that so there you go ca thick ca ultra thing ultra thing ca thick ca ultra thin surprised me type bond one <sighs> didn't really do too good type bond two actually took the wood from it surprising right exactly gorilla glue that did a good job gorilla wood glue sorry did a good job and the instant grab brilliant 
if only I could guarantee I could get it on a very thin layer, which I don't think I can. So I think what I might do is I'll go Gorilla. I think I started this project before I even got this shed shop. So I started this project in the old metal shed here. That's when I started this project it's for Mrs. S and I need to copyright it. She's outside, so I'm gonna be quite quiet. That was gonna be the front. This is now gonna be the front. I'm gonna coat this in copper. I've got to punch all these holes through it. So it needs to be quite a good bond because there's so many intricate cuts that I don't want it to let go. So I've got to score it all on one side and then run enough glue. So I think I'll be doing it with Gorilla. My problem's gonna be gluing it and then being able to apply enough pressure across the whole surface. Anyway, now we know which one out of them is surprisingly quite good. I think the best bond was actually the CAUK ultra thin but like i said that scares the bejesus out of me i glued myself to myself I, I for three days my nails were glued to my fingers it didn't matter what i did to clean them up I ended up using the stanley blade to release them it's not a good idea but it it worked next time gloves that's what i'm gonna do that is not bad if you need a bond that is decorative, not gonna be pulled upon, not gonna need any pressure put on it. That's what I'm going with. It would be that one. I just don't have enough for the time I have. I'm gonna get cracking with gluing that up. Thank you for watching today's little shed shop. We'll see you again soon. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click for notifications. Thanks for watching.